let you get historical facts. They will do comparisons. So that they, if someone today is stealing money, I'm not calling any names, they may go back to 1971 and show you where someone else was doing the same thing. Now that is research. They just didn't bring it back to New World in 1971. But what they did, they did comparisons and they brought it back to you. And that, that, that is research. Right, people? Yeah. Yeah. And that, that is some sense of research. The writer must show you that they, they spend time to do their work. And not just giving you basic facts for their head. A lot of times they cannot even verify the facts. Right? Of course, some audiences love to hear that because again, they go all the way from the government. But you know, I would think even from the government if I can't form them properly. Don't just come and see the teeth end or the teeth go. That don't make no sense. Right? So you have to put some real meat into that verse two and into verse three. Competition. 
maybe a soca song or maybe some other song similar. As I said, the composer, they may not be composed, but the composer to attract the listener. But you know what? Attracting the listener is an advantage. In this case, the listener is the adjudicator. So you must have your syllables balanced, your standard structure, your standards should be balanced. Right? You don't want to sing in one verse, two stanzas in your verse, and then the second verse is in one stanza. Unless, again, that is strongly intentional. Or you don't want to sing in, in one verse in long lines in a stanza, and then you come to the second line, verse, and you want to sing in short, short lines. Now, again, it can be done. You're not going to penalize somebody, but it's not enough. Not enough. It's not a no, right? Because you're trying to keep your whole song balanced with syllables, with phrases. Rhyming should be balanced. In other words, when I say rhyming should be balanced, no. If you're rhyming line one and three, then those two lines should balance. You don't want line one to be long and line three to be short. If you're rhyming line one and three. Same thing goes if you're rhyming lines one, um, two and four. Right? And that's something we see a lot of times. And I have to back at some, some, some songs that people say were so good. And I consider them good, great. But as you see some flaws in them. Let me give an example. They sing, like, they sing the first verse. They rhyme lines one and two. When they hit the second verse, they rhyme line one and three. And sometimes the composers have realized what he has done. That he has shifted. Right? Some composers should fall over the place. No, I'm not saying with a penalizer with the surgery for that, because that is really the intention he wants. But sometimes people do it in error. And they don't realize that if their rhyming scheme goes, goes out of sync. Right? I would like to think if I am keeping to, to, to something that I'm doing, I would like to rhyme like one and two. And in fact, I'll, I'll give you a story. A year, I did a arrangement to Casablanca. And I did a song called Somebody's Home. And I'll tell you what important stanzas are. You, you're familiar with that song, right? Take away somebody, you know? Nobody, nobody remember, remember that song? Right. Now, when I give the, the, the front line, the chorus, someone just put up their hand and say, no, the verse. But um, that, is not the, that is not the melody of the chorus. And I said, something was wrong with me, but so I ran back and I listened to the record. Every fullest line, they change the melody. They don't realize it. Because they change the rhythm of the song, and in doing that, they change the melody of the song. So, so they have three different melodies, first line in that song. So I couldn't have to please one person. I couldn't please everybody. And everybody have their view that each verse is the correct verse. So you have to be very careful. Very, very careful. In fact, I'll tell you that they, they, they went even a step further. That song was borrowed from a Bamali song called, um, the melody was borrowed from a Bamali song called, if they sit and quarrel with your neighbor every day, got the same prayer to the devil, I see. But he borrowed the melody. But he didn't understand what Bamali did. But Mali, whoever reads for Bamali, they put in an extra bar of music in it. Because of Bamali, like to do the movement mm -hmm. like here. And if you were to kind of throw it in the song, and had an oblong song, and they didn't even realize that they had to in the song. The only way can talk it, took it, to use it in the art, they took, took away the bar. When I did it, I took away the bar. And then somebody else did it for a, a, a commercial, and they took away the bar too. You can have an extra bar hanging around the song. So, so on the structure, you have to be careful with these things. You have to have a proper structure. It's flowing, it's enjoyable. And um, 